Back tomorrow night with the, with the uh, running of the final of the trusty maturity and a brilliant field of uh, eight sprinters lining up tomorrow night. Last Monday night they had the four semi-finals. Let's take a look at the first semi-final now with the favourite Winley Raider at even money from box seven. Your commentator is Ron Hawkswell. Racing, Winley Raider towards the outside, racing towards the lead. It's Karawong Boy in front of uh, uh, wide Winley Raider, going quickly and going through on the fence, Bianca Rash. Out of the straight on the favourite shot, clear Winley Raider, led by two and a half to three to Bianca Rash, going through on the inside, National Fleet from Nunda. Then come I'm Cubby, Karawong Boy, Sandy Hunter, second last, and Shroud Ace at the tail. Winley Raider going like a winner, though, zipped away. Five lengths, Bianca Rash, followed by National Fleet. Then Nunda, I'm Cubby, but Winley Raider, much too good. Winley Raider comes out to win six or seven lengths. Bianca Ash second, National Fleet third, then came Nunda, followed by I'm Cubby. While back on the inside, Shroud Ace. Racing. In the second leg, the favourite Vibrant, Vibrant Black, Black from box two. Going quickly, Dat Molas. Shrouded Moss and Broken Cup are all vying for the lead. Almost in four in line out of the straight, going to the outside, Vibrant Black. Broken Cup was checked, so was Devil May Care. And Dat Molas hugging the fence, raced away. About five lengths to Rocky James, getting to second. Broken Cup on the outside, followed by Vibrant Black. Then came Swiss Alert, Devil May Care. And down to the tail of the field with Jackie's General Shrouded Moss. Into the straight, Dat Molas clear. Rocky James and Swiss Alert are running on, but Dat Molas the red. Dat Molas too good by about two and a half to three lengths. Close for the miners. Whistle at the inside. Then Rocky James followed by Broken Cup. Devil May Care. And the Olympic Park double on Monday night on 7 and 1 paid 15.25. At Sandown on Thursday night in the first leg, the favourite secret agent from the black. Racing. A uh, beautiful start too, apart from the fact that Doris Lee missed the jump away smartly. Fantastico quickly joined by Riviera's son. Riviera's son takes the lead on the first turn. Rappus King was shuffled back into the field. And the leader was Riviera's son, about three or four in front. Secret Agents, the big danger. Three lengths, Fantastico. Then came Fiery Friend, Rappus King on the outside. Will be struggling to win from there, I'd say. Then came Doris Lee, followed by Linton's Fury and Black Blarney. Down the back straight and Secret Agent Dastro on the inside. And moved to the front about three lengths Riviera's son, three lengths, Fantastico, Fiery Friend, Rubbers King on the outside from Doris Lee, but Secret Agent off the back straight, she streaked away. Six or seven, Riviera's son, Fantastico, and Rubbers King, but Secret Agent blitzes them. Wins by seven lengths to Riviera's son. A third place and goes to Fantastico, the outside. Ready. Rumpus Papa, the second leg favourite from the check. Out in the centre was San Rua. San Rua, one of the leaders with Tangled Town and going quickly now. Here's Memoria Miss as they turn out of the straight. But Tangled Town had the lead getting up on the inside. Memoria Miss and they drive away about three lengths. San Rua. Jocks a flyer on the outside, followed by instant recall. Back at the tail, Rumpus Papa, super sure. Up the back, it's Memoria Miss by a length and a half. Tangled Town. Five lengths away to Jocks a flyer on the turn though. Memoria Miss, the leader from Tangled Town, and then came Jocks a flyer, but Memoria Miss wins the trophy. Second Tangle Town, close for third, super sure. Flashed home on the outside with Rumpus Papa. And the Sandown double combination, seven and five, paid $31.40 at Geelong on Friday night. In the first leg, the favourite Columbus from the Brown. Racing and away fast was Columbus near the outside, beginning smartly. Bonnie Briar the inside. Bonnie Briar in front of Lucifer Shadow. Columbus the outside and going quickly now. Dark Dorian from the outside. Dark Dorian takes the lead from Columbus and Ready Master on the outside is going quickly. They were followed by Silkwood, then came Bracken, followed further back then by inch by inch Lucifer Shadow into the straight and Dark Dorian shot clear of Ready Master. Bracken's running on gamely, but Dark Dorian by two lengths. Ready Master second, Bracken third. In the second. Second leg, I'm Nugget, the favourite from box four. Alas, I'm Nugget began quickly. So did Spring by Miss on the outside, running third, followed by Selenia Lass. They were followed by Honey Bun, Swift Hats on Diamond Chips at the rear. I'm Nugget, though, burst clear, coming off the back straight, about four or five, Selenia Lass. Spring by Miss out wide, struggling, followed by Palmer's ride, Warrior Lass, and then Diamond Chips along the rails. The leader, I'm Nugget, into the straight, is clear from Selenia Lass, but I'm Nugget is too good again. I'm Nugget by a length and a half. Selenia Lass second, Palmer's ride, rattled to be third. $20.80, the Geelong double on Friday night for eight and four. At Cranbourne last night in the first leg of the double race two, the favourite from box one was, believe it or not, Miss Teabags. Racing Miss Teabags, box well on the inside. Tepic Striker slowed up again. Going quickly, Boundmore the outside. Boundmore Miss Teabags into the first turn with Tepic Striker racing third. And deep out as they go to the back now. And the leader Boundmore getting up on the inside. Miss Teabags and Tepic Striker coming at them on the inside. Falling stone and steel. They were followed by travel guide for Mona Glow Sand Rua. And one down Miss Teabags down heavily off the back straight. Where Tepic Striker kicked clear about three in front. Stone and steel running second from travel guide. Into the straight though and Tepic Striker. 
Striker has it one. Tempic Striker two and a half stone and steel. Third placing travel guide followed by Bounmore. Star Quiz, the Ready. second lead favourite Racing from the Black. Green came out fast on the inside, beginning quickly. Star Quiz, Carol's book last slow. And Cincinnati sell about eight or ten lengths last. Driving into the first turn, it's Romantic Dream in front. Going up on the outside, Star Quiz is second. Marty Heidi running third, followed by Pagan Jade. Prince Piper, well back, Carol's book last third last. Then came King Cato as they turn out of the straight. And Cincinnati sell tied off at Star Quiz. Race clear on the back straight, got out about four lengths in front. Romantic Dream running second about three or four links away mighty Heidi they were followed by Pagan Jade Carol's book last King Cato and Prince Papa Romantic Dream is coming through again Romantic Dream bullocked its way through on the inside and dashed clear from Star Quiz out wide from Carol's book last but Romantic Dream off the red is too good by two and a half second Star Quiz about six away third Carol's book last Cincinnati sell from the tail four Last night's Cranbourne double combination, six and one, six dollars and fifteen cents. And keep in mind the big program, the trustee maturity final tomorrow night at Olympic Park. We'll take a break and be back to look at harness racing from Mooney Valley last night. It's a little later.